After a two year fight, a new wind farm has finally been given the green light in southern Minnesota. But in Freeborn County, hundreds of neighbors are making some noise about the noise. WCCO's Liz Collin reports on why landowners hope the state will step in. Right beyond that intersection, there'll be one. For more than 20 years, the view hasn't changed for the Hanson southeast of Albert Lee in Glenville. And the high voltage transmission line will then cover the east where I now look at the sunset. They've spent the last two years doing whatever they can to keep it that way. There are people who buy lakefront property because they want uh, the lake lifestyle. There are people who move to the city because they want the city lifestyle. We live in rural America because we want the rural lifestyle. The Freeborn Wind Project by Chicago-based Invenergy calls for 42 turbines set up throughout four townships, despite the fact 80% of the 470 people in the proposed project area signed a petition opposing it. To be perfectly honest, people around here I don't think ever thought something like this would happen. An administrative law judge stepped in to say Invenergy's proposal failed to meet Minnesota's noise standards. Landowners are now calling on the state to put a stop to large wind projects like this one until it develops better rules to regulate the noise from these four. 150 foot towers. But recently, the Public Utilities Commission upheld the site permit. The PUC doesn't want to enter into rulemaking, but instead they're just going to make an entirely new rule for this project. They moved the goalposts, they made them wider, and moved it closer. Doreen Hansen believes the power to stop the project may now lie with the people who have the collection and transmission lines on their land. So, in order to build the project, they have to go through some non participant land. And the PUC did not grant a permit for that to happen. We'll keep fighting administratively and we'll keep fighting for our landowners. The Freeborn County Board of Commissioners and the Minnesota Public Utilities Commission both signed off on the project this spring. It's possible construction could begin on the turbines as soon as this summer. In Freeborn County, Liz Collin, WCCO 4 News. XL Energy has purchased the projects from Invenergy, and in a statement, XL tells us it looks forward to working with the community as this project moves forward. It says that the wind farm is integral in nearly doubling the amount of wind generated energy generated for its customers by 2022.